Robin receives his new stepfather, Petter Bellish, and his cousin Sansa Stark at the Airy. Robin takes temporary delight in the gift Petter brings him, a falcon, finely carved from crystal, before throwing it out the moon door to demonstrate the door's nature to Sansa. Lisa seems to have allowed him some freedom since Littlefinger's arrival, as she allowed him out of her sight to show Sansa around. Later, he visits Sansa in the courtyard of the Airy while she is building a snow castle of Winterfell. When he suggests they add a moon door to it, he accidentally knocks over one of the towers that Sansa has built. At first, she gently scolds him, but as he grows petulant, insisting that he didn't ruin it, Sansa is driven to slap him across the face. He then runs back into the castle. Later on, his mother is killed when she's pushed out of Robin's favorite plaything, the moon door, by Petter Bellish. Littlefinger urges two lords of the Vale, Lord Yon Royce and Lady Anya Wainwood, to back Lord Robin Aaron against the Lannisters, and makes an arrangement with them so that Robin finally leaves the Airy and conducts an official tour of his lands. Later, Robin prepares to depart, but admits that he is afraid to abandon the safety of the Airy. However, Petter urges him not to worry about his death but about his life. He tells Robin that taking charge of his own life is what being the Lord of the Vale really means.